Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we're talking about Crown Zenith, the upcoming Pokemon special holiday set. Is it even a holiday set? It's being released on January 20th of 2023, just around the corner next year, which is kind of weird. I can't remember the last time the Pokemon company has released a set like this in January. It's kind of an off time to be releasing such a cool set. Crown Zenith is going to be our special set, might be the finale of Sword and Shield, although it is not a part of the actual lineup for Sword and Shield. There is a ton of stuff inside of it that really showcases what the Sword and Shield era really was. 160 card, it features Radiant Pokemon, VMAX Pokemon, and V-Star Pokemon. Probably the last time we're ever gonna see VMAX releases. I don't imagine they're gonna be releasing them with the upcoming games coming out so soon. We already know some of the set highlights. There is going to be a Radiant Charizard inside of this set, but that is so boring to me. I feel like I've had enough of Charizard. I don't know about you guys, but the real chase of this set is going to be the Galarian Gallery. Is it gonna be a GG subset? I don't really understand this. I would rather them call it just an art gallery, but it is going to be called the Galarian Gallery. So pretty interesting, 70 subset cards, and this is gonna be where a lot of people are gonna have the real excitement inside of Crown Zenith. The Galarian Gallery is going to feature a lot of special art cards, and these art cards are going to really, really vary. The Galarian Gallery is going to feature a lot of various artwork from all kinds of different Pokemon, and they're going to feature a lot of really cool art, all from major artists that have drawn Pokemon cards in the past, and there's going to be some really cool ones that you're going to absolutely love, and there's some that you're not going to really enjoy. The Entei one has definitely been kind of a joke, with a lot of collectors online saying that it looks terrible. I don't really mind it. I think it looks okay. I can understand the artistic depiction of it. It's definitely not one of my chase. There's some really other cool ones that I've gravitated towards. The Luminion one is definitely one that I think just looks amazing. Uh, the other one that I think looks really cool is the Numo. I just love the derpy face on Numo. I think it looks adorable. Suicune is another one. Suicune I think looks really cool. So it's gonna completely depend on you. There's 70 of them and a lot of them look amazing. So it completely depends on what kind of collector you are. Some people are gonna collect every single card from the Galarian Gallery. Some people are only gonna collect their favorite and it's gonna depend on what you pull inside of your booster pack. Most likely you're gonna find one in every single three booster pack or so. I'm gonna assume that's probably gonna be the pull rate for the subset. Perhaps it's gonna be a little bit more rare but I think one in every three booster pack is going to be the most likely distribution for this subset. And there's some other really cool ones as well. We got Leafeon, V-Star, and I'm gonna be trying to showcase as many of them as I can on the side as we continue to talk about this set. Outside of various products, there's not going to be a booster box for this set. Since it is a special set, the only way you're gonna be able to get Crown Zenith is through very specific product. There is going to be an Elite Trainer box that is probably gonna be the most common way that people are gonna be cracking open these booster pack, but there are going to be a bunch of other collection boxes as well as tins that these booster packs are going to come in. Of the ones that have been revealed, I think there's definitely some that people are going to want more than other. The Morpeko V Union box is going to be one that I think is highly desirable. It features Marnie as well as Morpeko on four cards. This card was uh, released last year inside of VMAX Climax, I believe. And so this is how we're finally getting it. Outside of the Morpeko V Union box, there's also going to be the Shiny Zacian V and the Shiny Zamazenta V Premium Collection boxes. These are probably gonna be some of the more desirable ones. There are going to be some other products, some tins, some three booster pack blisters. Those are gonna be some of the other ways that you can pull Crown Zenith cards. But in general, the Elite Trainer box and the Premium Collections are going to be probably the most desirable ones. We don't really have full MSRP on all these products yet. 
when we do, I will probably do a breakdown to see which one is going to be the most affordable and which one is going to be the best value if you are just interested in cracking open a bunch of Crown Zenith booster pack because collecting the whole entire Galarian gallery is going to be very challenging. Oh yeah, I didn't even get to mention this yet, but there's also going to be featuring a lot of trainer cards inside of the Galarian Gallery. Some of these trainer cards are really cool, and this is the really first time we're really seeing alternate art cards for the trainer cards, which I think is definitely pretty interesting. I am a trainer card collector, so I'm going to be pretty excited to see what's going to be inside of the... Uh, Galarian Gallery for the trainer cards, but some of the artworks are really cool and they're definitely stretching the boundaries of what kind of artwork is going to be on a trainer card. Some of them look a little bit more standard like Rayhan, but some of the other ones look really cool and are definitely uh, really out there in terms of art design. So we haven't seen all the cards inside of it yet, but it looks to be a cool spread of Pokemon. Some are fan favorite. The Deoxys artwork is definitely gonna be one that a lot of people are excited for. It just looks really cool and it's a fan favorite Pokemon for some of the older collectors but there's a bunch of really cool ones that are there too that are fan favorite for younger collectors like Zoroa. Really cool card and even Evolutions are getting a reprint inside of this set. So this set really has everything and it's going to be an exciting set. The launch date is definitely the most mind-boggling part because January is definitely kind of an interesting release date for this set just because a lot of adults have probably already bought presents for their kids in December and it's usually not a time when parents are willing to spend a lot of money for toys, especially trading cards. Spending, you know, 50 or $100 for Timmy on Christmas is probably more than enough. So I'm not sure if this set is really gonna sell out in that time frame. So most likely you're gonna be able to pick up Crown Zenith fairly affordably and I don't think this set is going to sell out the same way that prior special sets have really done. It's still a really exciting set. Remember Shining Fates came out. It was a lot of fun as well but it didn't really fully sell out. We had plenty of Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes months and months and months after release constantly being restocked on store shelves. Of course the hype has fully died down by then but yes this is not going to be a set that I really expect to fully sell out. I think the Pokemon company has truly finally caught up with the demand so with things evening out I think this is going to be a fun set to collect and at the same time it's going to be easy to pick up so fun times all around I will definitely let you guys know as we get more card reveals inside of Crown Zenith over 160 cards inside of this set so there's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about it as we get closer to that January 20th deadline. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are for this set. The Galarian Gallery is definitely going to be pretty darn in interesting. Let me know if you have a favorite card already for this set. Mine are definitely going to be the Numel as well as the Luminion V. I think that one looks really cool as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.